Hello everyone, Dylan here, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and today's of which is on the Razor Crest, that's from The Mandalorian, of course. So on the front of the large box here, you see LEGO's LEGO, Star Wars logo, and for the same border that's kind of similar to the other borders, but except has the Mandalorian in the corner rather than Darth Vader. Or also in the recent in this recent waves boxes had also had the five the Ahsoka troopers in the corner of course. And you see a picture of the Razor Crest in action, Disney logo and the Mandalorian logo, all the minifigs included, and recommended ages ten and up. Set number seven five two nine two has a thousand twenty three pieces. And flip to the back, you see a picture of it on either Tatooine or Offworld or something. And then play it in the Skywalker Saga game, of course, at lego.com. And it in a resting position, and yeah, all the features, yeah. And now on to the booklet, or manual, of which, on the front of the instruction manual, of which, same pictures on the front of the box, of course. So, and on the back, on, a win on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then out of all the sets of 2020, of course, of both winter and summer. Well, minus Dio. And then mini fake list of that come in this wave's summer sets, of course, and out of the Skywalker socket game. Hope I didn't show the coat. And then the last steps, of course. we have the Mandalorian himself. And as for a turnout, he which just the same as the one in the in last year's ATST Raider set. The same everything the same. So if you want some more detail about it, go check out my review for that on my channel of course. But also do get a Scout Trooper, or the newer improved Scout Trooper, with the dual molded uh, helmet, of course. But the same as from one of last year's sets, of course. So, not much uh, to say about it. But anyway, with the Bruce Wayne Loki face, of course, rather than the angry clone face, obviously. And next of which, uh, the Grief Karga. Yeah, Grief Karga, of which played by Carl Weathers in the series, of course. See, not only like print, which is kind of la lacking, of course, and you see he's holding two small pistols there, and like the torso print of which, done good. And fa face print, also done good, and as you see, using the same hair piece that Finn has, and he's. Quite slight back torso printing, of course, but and see has a quite all right double side face. And next to which is IG Eleven. And as the, the build of which, same as uh, IG Eighty Eight and other assassin droids, of course, but. And, of course, all the same, but at least but with a different uh, face print to him. Although I think it could have didn't need to have the cone piece for that. And, and uh, yeah. then last but not least is the child, otherwise Baby Yoda. 
as you see. Do you think the cuteness does do well in Lego form, but the headpiece of which is of course in a soft rubber material like regular Yoda once and body piece, which is the same old uh, baby body piece, of course, but with some good printing to it. Headpiece, oh, which is sculpted just perfection. And of course, this is not the only time we're getting this baby Yoda. And also, some of the detailing in the top of the head, of course. And of course, we'll also get this in the uh, piece version of the child in a couple of months or two. Maybe, yeah. To the Razor Crest itself. Oh, which pretty cool build. Really cool build. So, which, like, as for the front area, which, as you can see, doesn't quite good. Has some a lot of good snot techniques going on, like with all these curved pieces, giving it the good uh, feel that it is. But although it may be a little large for that, but I think that's just me. And I, and if you notice, the thing up top is where you can pull right off, and of course have a little bit of space. Enough two red seats are there. Although I think they could have been in like light gray or dark gray or at least black. And of course, it got enough space to fit your Mandalorian need on into as well or into of course and also a little bit for baby Yoda as well oh also can lower it down and you can notice a pair of clips which is where you can stick his rifle onto of course but as for the cockpit piece of which which I think might be all new to this set, but if not, I think it might be in some other uh, city sets or something. But besides that, the printing of which done really good. And, and I think it's one of the very few printed pieces in this set when this the rest of which is a lot of stickers. That as for the size of it. <coughs> Bless me. But as for it, he has some of those like cylinder pieces, but used as large guns to it. And of course, it's just for show, of course, but you can lower down and get some space to store your uh, spring little launcher missiles, of course. And as on the other side, you can do the same. And it's a little resting area for your Mandalorian minifig to sit in, of course. It has on the siding, so, which, and also on both sides, of course. There's a side this can fold down and acts as it's as a boarding ramp, of course. Also, you get some accessibility to it. And this is present on both sides. Like, let me see. Let me lower both of these. So, I see. Kind of vacant and hollow, but at least but that's alright, because the store many many things in it if you want. Although, of course, another neat feature is that, as you see, these. Uh, one by two by five uh, bricks here, which do hold his carbonated victims. In it. There's a, and, but all those, but of course, this reminiscent of the earlier Han Solo and carbonite pieces from like still from the two thousands, of course. At least till they updated that in 2010 with, as an actual specific molded piece, but I guess they just didn't want to bother doing that for this set. 
get you know, save a little money from that. And how you get these onto the ship is, of course, has a few plates on them. You can slide in like so. It was a good easy fit. And as for the actual siding, it has a, few, a little bit of a jagged slope area, of course. And also, not very many exposed studs throughout. And as for the back part of it, it also quite alright. And also, of course, you have an extra boarding ramp to go right up onto a horse. As for, for the top part, which you have some uh, uh, grill pieces acting as venting. And in this, uh, of course, and also yeah, another pair of which right over here, but just at the uh, launch the spring loader launchers, of course. And as for these engines, in which big sticker added to these, but I can forgive it. And also, good use of the barrel pieces as the back part of it. So a lot of curved slopes acting as the turbines in it. And also, good well, Lego. Good job on not very many exposed studs, which explains the use of the collectible minifigures down. Of course, and also has its own escape hatch, which you can pull out and also can take that off and insert a mini thing into it, which explains the little jumpers in it, of course. And without it, it's still kind of vacant, but also it does have that red jumper to indicate where to put it. It's a little form of propulsion with those cones there, of course. So size-wise, it's kind of smallish for the price of 130 unlike with the Millennium Falcons, which were all around $10 more in all. And also the same with like the recent Slave One, even though it was 120. You know? Let me get a button. And so now on to the final verse. Overall, this I think really qu quite cool set. Of which, and of course, other than with that rumor going around saying that the name might be changing to Mandalorian Transport Ship or something, but I hope a lot of it you wouldn't mind is, is oh, and also like the use of some of these curved plate pieces, of course. But anyways, actual final verdict is this I think quite cool set. Of which. Like has some good, uh, lot of good snap techniques and unique techniques, and of course this new ship to add to the Lego like, Star Wars catalog library, of course. Although I think they might do some remakes of it over time, uh, and hopefully the remakes will be available at other stores other than this being an Amazon exclusive, like Darth Vader's castle, of course. But also, of course, this. First time with Grief Karga and the child, of course. At least until the brick built child figure comes out in a couple of months, of course. And, and also, if you didn't bother getting the ATST Raider set from last year, well, this is a good opportunity to get the Mandalorian, of course. And 
also as kind of well suiting for the price of it, despite being a little small. Yeah. And if so, if you're a fan of the Mandalorian and you want to get this set for your collection, then definitely pick this up. And if you want to have some new something new to add into your Lego Star Wars collection, also truly pick this up. And that's about it with this video. And like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.